Hello, welcome to AI Medical School. So in this video we are going to discuss the bronchodilator drug, which is terbutaline. But before start the if you haven't subscribed to the channel, so subscribe to it and like the video. Let's get started. Terbutaline is oral and parenteral bronchodilator. Terbutaline is one of several sympathomimetic agents that act by selectively stimulating B2 adrenergic receptors. Clinically, its main use is in the treatment of bronchospasm, although terbutaline is also effective in delaying premature labor. Terbutaline is available in many dosage forms. It was first approved by the FDA in 1974. Its final patent expired in March 1994. Now indications. Terbutaline is primarily indicated in conditions like asthma, bronchitis, emphysema, obstructive airway disease, edema, and oliguria, due to renal failure. And others. Premature labor, uncomplicated, premature labor. And can also be given in adjunctive therapy as an alternative drug of choice in acute leukemia, lymphomas. Contraindication. Terbutaline is contraindicated in conditions like thyrotoxicosis, ischemic heart disease, hemorrhage, and taxemia. Now its side effects. The severe or irreversible adverse effects of terbutaline, which give rise to further complications, include ventricular tachycardia. Terbutaline produces potentially life-threatening effects which include pulmonary edema, which are responsible for the discontinuation of terbutaline therapy. The signs and symptoms that are produced after the acute overdosage of terbutaline include tachycardia, cardiac arrhythmias, hypokalemia, and hyperglycemia. The symptomatic adverse reactions produced by terbutaline are more or less tolerable and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically, these include headache, anxiety, palpitation, tremors, and muscle cramps. Warnings are, avoid intraneural or intravascular injection of terbutaline. High risk groups are, drugs should not be given to cardiac or hypertensive patients, patients suffering from kidney dysfunction, and neonates. If prescribing authority justifies the benefits of the drug against the possible damages, he or she should re-evaluate them and consult the reference material and previous studies. Now the dosage. Adult dose, 0.25 to 0.5 mg, single dose, 0.38 mg, frequency, 6 hourly. En route is intramuscular, subcutaneous, oral and inhalation. These are some brand names. Britanil and Terbutal. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys liked the video.